In this video, you're going to learn three things that are missing from the 2018 Yukon XL SLT. Although I gave this car a favorable rating, there are still three things that are totally unacceptable with this car. I'm Jeff from Modern Muscle 2 and 3, and today you're going to learn three things missing from the 2018 Yukon XL. The first thing missing from the Yukon XL is going to be the exhaust on the car. The exhaust is definitely not loud enough in this car. Now I know this is, you know, a truck, but I feel like it should be louder than what it is right now. So let's just drive a little bit with the windows down. Sounds like in the car when you rev the engine at idle. There pretty much is no exhaust note, and that is a little bit weird. As you guys just heard there, or if you didn't hear anything, that's kind of the issue. There was, there was really no exhaust note on this car. Now, like I said, this is a truck. It's not supposed to be very loud, but I feel like you should feel something. Like you should hear something coming from the car. I mean, this isn't like a limousine, right? It's like, you know, it's definitely a, um, I guess what more, I guess maybe one of the nicer versions of like a SUV, but I just feel like it should be a little bit louder. Maybe that's just my muscle car roots. Maybe that's just because I drive a Challenger that is pretty loud. And I think it should come stock from the factory just a tiny bit louder. Now, of course, you can always add your own exhaust to the car to make it just the right note, just the you know right amount of sound that you want in the car. But I think that it should be a little bit louder coming from the factory. So that is something that this car is definitely missing and that I think is very unacceptable. Okay guys, so the next thing that we have on the list is going to be the remote start on this car, okay? The remote start just really doesn't work that well. Now let's take a look at it, okay? Right now, I'm gonna try to use the remote start, and to tell you the truth, it's kinda of hard to do. So, holding it right now, doesn't work. Let's see, click it, you know, twice. Let's try to click it. Nope. Doesn't seem to work that well. So, supposedly, for the menu, you gotta lock the car first, then you gotta hold it for four seconds. Ah, there it is. But guys, it's very hard to use, honestly, and I think it could be done a lot better. On my car, all you have to do is literally press the button once or press it twice, and it just starts. With this one, you know, it's a little bit difficult, it's a little bit harder to understand. So, a little bit harder to understand, and that's kind of like an issue. So that's one thing that I think is very, needs to be fixed with this car. This needs to be, you know, I think it has to be done a little bit clearer. And yeah, I just really think it could be done easier. You gotta do is maybe press it once, maybe twice. Maybe not hold it down for four seconds, but that's definitely something that needs to be fixed on this car that I think could be done a lot better. The final thing missing from the Yukon XL is going to be the rain sense windshield wiper system. So one thing I do have to say about this car right now as I'm driving it, it is supposedly supposed to be in this uh, rain sense mode. It's supposed to be on this car right now and it's kind of lightly drizzling, but honestly, it's kind of really not working. It says that the rain sense is on, but guys, I really can't it's not really swiping any, anything at all. It's a light drizzle, right? But as this, you know, as the rain keeps dripping on the car, kind of weird. So I'm not sure exactly how it works. Maybe it's not set up correctly, but as of right now, this seems like the rain sensor isn't really kind of working. And uh, another thing that's weird about this car is the fact that it seems like it's, the way it works, I mean, it looks like this is the slowest that it can go, but. You know, I think it should be a little bit slower than that. So it's just, it's just weird the way this is set up, sort of. Weird that, you know, it doesn't seem to be working all that well. Maybe it's just not raining hard enough. Maybe because it's just this, you know, Hawaii weather where, you know, the rain is kind of more like mist. So maybe it's just not sensing it or it's not picking it up. Maybe if it was harder kind of rain, it would have like more of a better 
I guess, uh, sense on it. But that's one thing I do have to say about it is that it doesn't look like this thing really works that well. Well guys, those are three things that are missing from this car. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. Thanks again guys, I hope to see you soon. Until next time.